today, if you're a if you're a company that needs to come borrow, or if you're a private equity sponsor that needs to do uh, a new buyout or M&A financing, or you're a company that has a refinancing need, the the public markets, particularly below investment grade, are closed right now in in large part, and all you can do is turn to private markets. Private markets lenders, many of them depend on leverage that comes from the banks, whether it's in the form of subscription lines for their funds or it's other forms of warehouse financing or term financing for their book to get to a levered yield. Well, that capacity, a lot, a lot of that is, is coming out of the system now. And so those lenders are going to require higher rates of return and they're going to require tighter conditions on the, on the documents when they step into those situations. So all of that's to say a, a pretty interesting go forward environment for making new loans. It's the breadth and depth of the platform in terms of how we integrate our activities in public markets, where we have a team of credit research professionals across developed markets, US, Europe, and Asia Pacific, who cover the broad waterfront. They cover all of these different industry verticals, and they cover companies up and down the capital structure. So when something becomes interesting, there's a dislocation in a sector, or there's a specific issue inside of a company or we're looking at a new private investment opportunity, invariably the size and scale of our platform and of that research team means we have a significant head start when we wanna get involved in something and that speed advantage enables us to kind of control the outcome, to control the deal flow that we want to control and step up and combine that with the size and scale of the capital that we can speak for to deliver whole solutions to, to companies or borrowers and frankly create attractive risk opportunities for our clients.